I started playing the violin in middle school and over six years it became my favorite way of expressing myself. But after I got a job and went off to college, it faded into the background. Except last week it popped into my head. I kind of miss playing the violin. So I decided to pick it up and see what would happen. As soon as I started playing again, I instantly remembered all of my previous struggles. And that's when my developer brain kicked in, something that I didn't have access to 10 years ago. And I thought, can I fix this with an app? Surprise, surprise, I did. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how to create a fully functioning progressive web app from requirements all the way through to the end finished product. Welcome to Random Thoughts to Creation Software Engineering Edition. Open up your favorite note-taking tool. I like Google Docs and start off with just a brain dump of whatever it is you're trying to create. Just jot down anything, no expectations, get it down somewhere where you can visualize and see everything. After you have all of your ideas down, research and proof these ideas. Why am I creating this? Is it for fun or is it for money? If it's for money, you would want to ask yourself, okay, does this thing already exist? Is there a way that I can make it better? And if it doesn't exist, why doesn't it, it exist? Is there not a need? Am I about to become a billionaire? But these are all questions that you need to ask yourself. And in addition, go through what you would do with your product. How would you use it? Go through different scenarios and and as you answer these questions, you're gonna poke holes in certain ideas and instantly some ideas will make it to the next round and some will completely just die in that phase. As an example, when I was brainstorming ideas for this violin app, the first thing that came into my mind was, okay, posture is a huge thing when you're playing the violin. You have to make sure that your hand is not up on the scroll like this. You have to make sure your hand is curved. You have to have a really great back posture when you are stroking the bow against the strings, your wrist has to move freely. I thought posture would be the number one feature for the app that I wanted to create. But as I was kind of thinking about it, a lot of the time when you practice, you will stand up if you're not playing with like an orchestra because it's easier to have the proper posture when you're standing. Secondly, if you're standing, depending on where your device is, how is the camera, the webcam going to be able to view you properly? to analyze your posture and let you know whether or not you are in the correct position. So that kind of died. You need somebody in person to tell you what your posture is and if it's right or if it's wrong. The next thing that I came into was intonation. Are you in tune? That's a really big one. And that's something that you don't necessarily need somebody in the room to tell you. And is something that can easily be indicated with the software. It can show me what my percent accuracy is. That was something that seemed very feasible. And in addition to that, it would also show you what the fingerings are on the violin or each note on top of the sheet music. And in addition to that, you could also play along with it. Kind of like a karaoke situation, but instead of singing, you're playing the violin. All of those features made sense. At this point, I knew what I wanted to build and I had a general idea of the features. Fed it into ChatGPT and I said, hey, give me a list of requirements. And it gave me objective user roles, user requirements, key features, constraints, and assumptions. And I broke down my brain dump into those different categories just so that all of my requirements would be in an organized way and it would be easier for me to turn that into actual code. Naturally, the second piece is designing. What do you want this thing to look like? And there are a variety of different tools you can use online to draw inspiration from. And if you actually have a design that you're interested in or you find a design, you can screenshot it, feed it into Claude AI. And Claude AI will give you the artifacts to generate that UI design. So after you have an idea of what you want your front end to look like and you have an idea of what your requirements are, then you can go into figuring out what you want your tech stack to look like. And you can use ChatGPT to make suggestions. So the original design that I wanted to do for the web application, I ended up not liking. I also realized that I was trying to do too much versus focusing on a few core features and then expanding. So I dialed down the functionality. Initially, I was trying to add in a bunch of fancy extra stuff and using AI to drive the development was running me or causing me issues because I would, you know, would time out or 
the scope was just too big so dialing it down really helped i like the design better now i have something that's working i'm still debugging a few things but this approach was a lot a lot better some things that i learned from claude ai using it extensively if you try to create an entire product with multiple features, you will probably time out. So a better approach is to ask it to give you a base template. You can create that template and then use Cloud AI to build out each feature and debug each feature file by file and start new chats as the chat gets longer so that you can get more use of your credits. In addition, when you do eventually time out, you can use an older, slower version like Haiku, those are still pretty good and helpful. In addition, you can also go between Claude AI and ChatGPT. I tried that a little bit yesterday. It wasn't the most productive, but I did learn some great things about ChatGPT. So you can upload a zipped project into ChatGPT, have it analyze it for you and give you suggestions or help debug. It's not that great at it, but it's still good to know that it's an option. And with the proper prompting, it might be something that's useful. In addition, you can um, have ChatGPT give you a complete zip file of a project to download and then you can just open that up directly. Cloud AI does not have those same features. So you can upload individual files, but you can't upload a zipped file with everything in it already. Um, but those are some things that I wasn't aware of. Also keep in mind that you don't have to start off with libraries. You can build something that has like static content in the back and then, you know, test out the overall flow and then always add that functionality in later. Okay. So here is the product. So you can select the piece of music here. I just have a simple G major scale. You can have it play and turn the melody on or off if you want to practice with the melody or without it and as you play it will show you the fingering on the violin for where your finger should be um, in addition you can also have this pitch analyzer that will tell you what your pitch is certain improvements it would be really great if you had a library of pre-loaded sheet music to reference another feature that would be cool if the sheet music doesn't exist or there's just like a snippet of a sound you want you should be able to upload the audio file and then it would transcribe or transpose the music into sheet music while using these ai tools is very helpful I would still say that learning how to code or knowing how to code is a huge advantage because I still struggled and I know how to code. Um, so I can imagine trying to completely rely on AI, you would put yourself in a pretty vulnerable situation. Um, so yeah, I think those are some things I think to keep in mind. From an idea in my head to a fully functioning tool. This is why I fell in love with coding and I'm glad that I am re-exploring that love with this series of random thoughts to creations. If you have an idea that you'd like me to possibly build, leave it in the comments and I will take a look. In the meantime, I'm going to debug some more code and try and play some more music. So I'll catch you guys in the next video.